Two, bottom of the eighth, 4 2 Rockies. One on for Eddie Tobinsey, and he clears them all. Tobinsey crushes the two run homer to right. Number eight on the year for Tobinsey, 4 4 tied. Next batter, Reggie Sanders. Bye bye. The drive to right center gone. Back to back homers. Number 14 for Sanders, 5 4 Reds. Then Jeff Branson with one on. A blast of his own. A two run homer to right. Number seven for Branson. Then Barry Larkin gets into the fun. Delivers the fourth home run of the inning, 8-4 Reds as Cincinnati goes on the win. The Reds slap four homers as a part of seven runs in a very productive eighth inning for the victory. A homer was just what the doctor ordered for Reggie Sanders, who snapped a three for 30. Archie Bailey looking for a second win of the season, getting some help. Joe Oliver grounds to Walt Weiss deep in the hole. His throw bounces twice, but gets the out. Top of the six, Rockies down 3-2. Ellis Burks hits an opposite field. Johnson, that's off John Smiley, a solo shot. Burke's 33rd of the season, his 100th RBI. Types the game at three, bottom of the seven. Same score, bases loaded. Hal Moore singles up the minute. Middle, Thomas Howard, Barry Larkin, they both score. And the Reds win the ball game. Two homers for the Rockies, none for the Reds. And Cincinnati go, comes out on top. Thomas Howard, his stick was working. His packed house even without Macarena night. And the M's sending the crowd some souvenirs. Alex Rodriguez into the black seats in center field. That's rarely done. We'll tell you about that. 2-0. Then in the third, Jay Buhner. Three-run shot to center field. Almost in the same spot. His 35th, 6-0 Mariners. Okay, that's Rodriguez. You got Buhner. That leaves Griffey. Check that. Griffey's got one, too. Two-run shot. That would be his 37th, 9-0 Mariners, which takes a lot of the suspense out of the final score. Where's the pitching, you ask? Well, it's right there. Jamie Moore gets Daryl Strawberry, and then in the seventh gets Wade Boggs to go to his room. Ends the inning. Final score 10-3 in favor of the M's. Alex Rodriguez, just the 10th player since 1970. Scoreboard and one eye on the pitch. Literally, Chris Hoyle stares at that. Things still looking good in the Bronx, so the O's trying to take advantage, but they continue to struggle. Rafi Palmero strikes out, and it's the old strike him out, throw him out, double play as Brady Anderson gets nailed. Meanwhile, A's also trying to catch the 61 Yankees in the home run department, and that will help. Terry Steinbach clear. Chem 7 CBC for that ball. It's not going to make it. 29th on the year for him. A's up 2 to nothing. Meanwhile, Eddie Murray, speaking of record chasing on 498 home runs and holding. Top of ninth. Still things good in New York. The Yankees have lost. Can Baltimore take advantage? Mark Aker to Cal Ripken. Chance to be a hero. And indeed, with all that foul ground in that stadium, he is not. A's hang on to win this game 3 to 1 and so the Orioles miss a chance to move within four and a half of the Yankees Ariel Prieto pitching from Ventura lines a clutch two out base hit to center just past the diving Jose Valentin Frank Thomas lumbering we use that term Chicago 2 nothing bottom of four Matt Miski up and with the impartial White Sox announcers begging it to go foul it indeed is not fair 2 1 Chicago Robin Ventura back at it in the sixth and this time dial nine it's long distance right field up and gone for his 28th of the year and suddenly Chicago leads three to one which brings us to the ninth where they lead four to two Darren Lewis that's a base knock and a clutch one two run variety Dave Martinez Frank Thomas would be those two runs and Chicago wins this one going away final six two Alex Fernandez Jose Hernandez with the seeing eye base hit past Craig Biggio. Possibly could have had a glove on that. Sandberg scores. Gomez scores. 4 0 Chicago after Uno. And the bleeding would continue. Bottom of two with one man on and none out. Luis Gonzalez deep. And it could be. It might. Too many Harry Carey impersonations, quite frankly, and mine really isn't that good. 6 0 Chicago after two. Houston would mount a comeback in the third thanks to Chicago's defense. Derek Bell grounded a third just a bit outside. Vigio scores, runners at second and third. DP would have ended the inning. Orlando Miller then ripping a single right down the line at first. It's fair. Bell scores, but Sammy Sosa comes up firing, and please don't hold dinner for Miller. He's going to be late. Indeed, the Cubs. By a cozy margin, 12-3. Gonzalez, who is traded to the Cubs from the Astros, and with some leather, Ron Gant to third, off of Kurt Abbott to Edgar Renteria, on to first, and that's how you use teamwork. Bottom of two, Marlins, third in the NL in fielding percentage, and here's why. Devon White, are you kidding me? Brings one back in, and that man is into leather. Hold that thought, too, as you take another look. White, with some of the best wheels, gets up and brings it back. Again, hold that thought. Bottom of eight, three all game, two outs. Luis Alisea drives one to the gap. Devon White, we talked about his leather. Not 
quite. That one put Alisea at third. Devon giveth and taketh away. The next batter, pinch hitter Royce Clayton, and I'd call that a hit in the pinch. And so that Devon White mini men on first and second. Ken Hill on the hill facing Mike Sweeney, who would single to right field. Craig Paquette on his way home. Juan Gonzalez comes up throwing, but he throws to third. Smart move gets Michael Tucker to end the inning. Two nothing. Royals extend. Same score in the fourth. Juan Gonzalez. That could be extra bases, even though it wasn't that sharply hit. RBI 106 for Gonzalez. Rangers trail 2-1. to one. Same score in the sixth. Mike McFarlane. Some people call him Spanky with the blooper to right. Paquette heading for home. The throw from Gonzalez. Another good arm. Got him. Now 4-1 to one in the ninth. And Tim Belcher gets Dean Palmer to go to his room and... Send the entire team, in fact, to their respective rooms as the Royals win this one 4-1. to one. Belcher's six-hitter putting an end to the Rangers' seven top of three. Oral Hershiser helping himself. He's got legs. He's got a glove. He's got a bare hand. He uses all three. The rookie, Justin Thompson, pitching well. Conversely for the Tigers, something you haven't seen that much on the Tigers pitching staff. Put a coat on that hanger. Nice hook. But the next time Jim Tomey comes to the plate, Thompson falls behind 2-0, and 2-0 and pitches are easier to hit. Deep left center and gone. 25th for him, 2-0 tried. Bottom of six now, Mark Carrion, a roller to short. Damian Eastley's got it, and then he doesn't. Lost his luggage. That would open the floodgates. After a sack fly, Tomey up again, and now he's got a beat. Rips the double down the line into right. Albert Bell was on. He scores. It was the last batter Thompson would face. Tribe scored four unearned in the inning. They went at 6-3. to three. The two RBI didn't like the call. And then in the first, Marquise Grissom facing Matt Rubel. Grissom takes his first pitch deep. A bizarre hop off the wall. Grissom winds up on third. Ninth triple of the year for him. Next batter would be Terry Pendleton. Good to have you back aboard. Lines this one right back at you. Makes the catch. Looks like he's got him doubled off a third. But the throw just a bit outside. Error to the pitcher. Braves lead 1-0. Bottom of two now. One on for Ryan Klesko. Clear. No pulse. Braves lead it 3-0, 29th of the year for him. Bottom of three. Still in the third. A lot of offense early. Fred McGriff, the crime dog, takes a bite out of that into right field. Orlando Merced whoops all the way to the wall, allowing Pendleton to score. Braves up 4-0. They would win it by a final of 7-1. By Lecky, allowing just three hits, striking out five en route to his fourth. So first, no outs. Raul Montesi singles to left. Piazza comes around to score. The Dodgers get six straight hits off Jeff Becerra to start the game. Three nothing. Dodgers top of the fourth. Expos still down three nothing. Cliff Floyd singles to right. The ball goes right through Montesi. Mike Lansing will score all the way from first. Floyd would be sack flied home. Expos now trail three two. Bottom six. Billy Ashley on second, same Here score, two outs. Ramon Martinez the chops the first. Segui David Segui flipped to Ficero, but it's a little too high. Come Ashley comes around the score, 4-2 Dodgers. Dodger Top nine, Expo trailing 6-5, no outs. Rondell White the misses the offering. Segui the takes off for second, Piazza throws through. through. Jagney had a little trouble with it. Once he salute comes home to score on the double steal. We're tied at six, bottom nine. Piazza finishes the game deep to right center field. Gone. His 30th of the season, and the Dodgers win the ball game with some excitement. 7 6 is your final. Dodgers have won tonight. Fernando, top third. Lance Johnson on second, moving on the steal. Gilkey flies to left. Johnson misjudged it, as does Vaughn in left. Johnson scores 2 0 Mets. Next batter, Todd Hundley. That's a single pass to diving. Greg Shipley. Gilkey scores 3 0 New York. Next batter, Carlos Baerga. He loops a double into left center by Steve Finley. Hundley scores easily 4 0 New York. Tim Morrell giving up four earned runs, six hits early. Were the Mets done torturing him? I think not. Two batters later, Ray Ordonez, the grounder to Chris Gomez. His force out throw to second, not in time. Viagra scores 5 0 New York. Bottom of the third, bases loaded for Greg Vaughn, who has already stranded two. Some more stranded. The 6 4 3 double play. Vaughn would strand eight in all. Bottom five, runners on first and second. Ken Kamenetti pops up. Andy Tomerlin loses it in the sky. Tough lighting in this ballpark. Alfonso makes the great grab. Bottom eight, bases loaded for Tony Gwynn. And don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. As the Mets win. So the Major League second game in Mexico has a different winner. Eight hits and five runs in the second. And